the internet can create tremendous economic and social opportunities for people around the world. When people have the opportunity to connect and share with each other, they can create businesses, businesses that can drive economic growth and create jobs. They can also connect with each other after a time of natural disaster to get important information about resources that could mean the difference between life and death for someone. And it can provide access to educational materials for people in remote areas that they wouldn't otherwise have access to. Imagine being denied access to this kind of information. Imagine being denied the ability to connect and share. So in many ways, the internet has become a fundamental tool for human rights and free expression. And much of my job is spent trying to knock down barriers to a free and open internet so that people around the world can enjoy the benefits that come with a free and open internet. As Vice President for Global Public Policy at Facebook, me and my team work with policymakers around the world to help them understand how the Facebook product works, but also the kind of value that the service can bring to people. At a company like Facebook, the pace of innovation is so great and the issues that we're dealing with are so new that it's really important to be able to maintain an open line of communication with policymakers to help them understand how the world is changing and to answer any questions that they might have about a newish kind of service like Facebook. We'll talk to them about the ways that businesses use Facebook to connect with new customers and deepen their relationship with existing ones. We'll explain the ways that nonprofits are using Facebook to build support for their missions. Many policymakers are introduced to Facebook when they're campaigning, when they're running for elected office. Former House Speaker Tip O'Neill once said that all politics is local, and what we like to say at Facebook is that all politics is social. So they get used to using this tool when they're running for office, and when they become a policymaker or in elected office, um, they start to use Facebook in new and different ways to connect with their constituents and to explain issues of public policy. I find it incredibly rewarding to be able to work with policymakers around the world and to be able to talk about and show them the ways that Facebook is making a difference in people's lives. At Facebook, our mission is to give people the power to connect and share and make the world more open. We think that there's tremendous value in making the world more open and connected. And one of the more interesting elements of a more open and connected world is the kind of influence that people can have on each other. You're much more likely to go see a movie that a friend recommends to you, and you're more likely to check out a restaurant that a friend tells you about. The same can be said about other issues. You're much more likely to vote if a friend tells you that they voted, and if you learn that your friend conserves energy and the ways in which your friend conserves energy, you're more likely to try to do the same. At Facebook, we've given people a, a tool that allows them to share with their friends when they become an organ donor. And after we launched this tool and people started sharing this information with their friends, um, organ donations increased by hundreds and thousands in the days, that, in the days and weeks that followed. This is something that we were really excited about. And what's really exciting about what's happening at Facebook is we've only just begun to see the ways in which our platform can be used to solve other kinds of issues and make a difference around the world.